Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. We have put up uh, an interview I did on Zoom with a great artist, Ryan Griffin, and he also does some acoustic performances. You can click that link. It's on the scrolling bar at licountry.com. And we have the food truck uh, party tonight at the chalet at Farmingville at at, at Bald Hill there, um, Chalet Plaza. Many, many food trucks. Bring your own chair. Wear a mask. Attendance will be you know, monitored to make sure there's not too many people in there. And uh, we have live music. So big night tonight, Candy. And I love can, it. And I love food trucks. Yes, you can go enjoy. Uh, today is National Skyscraper Day, Candy. All righty. Yes, love a good tall building. Uh, I love this. Today is National Welsh Rarebit Day. It's Welsh rabbit and there's no rabbit in it. I believe it's sort of like a melted cheese on toast of some sort. Look it up. Yes, I did look it up, and you stole my thunder because allegedly it's supposed to have rabbit in it, like turtle there's soup. There's no or, rabbit in it. No, no, there's no rabbit in it. But the reason I brought it up is uh, it is toast with hot cheese poured over it. Candy, what is my better than this? To, I know. My mother used to make that occasionally, and that's why I know. Unbelievable. Uh, I got to try that, although, uh, you know. Uh, I think I can I can do that. I'm just going to take a block of cheese, melt it in the microwave, pour it over some toast candy. Welsh toast, they, Welsh rabbit. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and today's U.S. Bowling League Day for all you bowlers. Have out you there. ever been in a league? I've never been in a bowling league. Uh, I did tell you that uh, early on when Dana and I first started dating for Valentine's Day, we got each other uh, bowling balls with our names inscribed in it, and we used to go bowling all the time, Candy. Really? I once bowled a 32. Does that sum up my talent in bowling? Wow, that's 3.2 per frame. That's terrible. Thank you. Wow, under four pins a frame, Candy. That is... I hear you. One of the worst I've ever heard. A lot heard. of gutter balls. Uh, Candy, I want to bring something up, which um, you, you struck a chord with me earlier today when we were off the air, and Music was playing. You you mentioned something to me that really uh, made me stop and think. You said, uh, have you heard from Barbecue Tom lately? And I have not. I have not spoken to Barbecue Tom. Is he okay? Yeah, I think he's fine. He just doesn't want to be your friend anymore because, you know, he's tired of cooking for you. Uh, maybe. It's possible. I haven't spoken to him about it. I, I think it's probably a lot more innocent than that. You know, life gets in the way, Candy. We all have... Life gets in the way, but Tom, I think he's dropped you. Uh, there barbecue... goes that bromance. I, I did. I was texting uh, with the family, because I have both uh, uh, him and his wife on text, right? And I, I was texting with her one day about getting together and, and whatever, and, and they said they were... Um, they were away, and you know we'd set something up when they came back. And Candy, I'm very sad. I have not uh, have not heard from Barbecue Tom and yeah, his family. Yeah, is this what they call ghosting? I'm not sure. <laughs> You're out. Believe. You know what? You're I out. Didn't expect that from you, Candy. So sorry. I may have been ghosted by Barbecue yep, Tom, although I think so. I don't think we're at that point just yet, Candy. You did um, something. I think you maybe ate one rib too many. <laughs> maybe it's all the uh, the T-bone steaks Dane has been cooking on the barbecue. Yeah, and have. you haven't offered them a bite. <laughs> you know, I don't know. You need to review the kind of friend you are. Well, barbecue Tom, if you're if you're listening, um, and he's you know, sorry. This, he's going to behave am, much better. I am sorry. Um, I will uh, just tell me what slab of meat you need me to buy. I will. Uh, Go get it for you as a a gift. He won't take you for granted anymore. No. No, I will not. Uh, You or that beautiful uh, goatee and beard that you have, I will will always uh, respect it, never take it for granted, Candy. So um, uh, I am sorry. Yes, it struck a chord with me earlier today, Candy. I really, uh, it sat with me most of the morning, so I had to. Sorry, I saw I brought it up, but some things, you know, I have to bring to your attention, and this is one of them. And to get it off my chest. Uh, Candy, we are, what, t- t- today's Thursday, so we got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We're four to five days, depending on how you look at it, four to five days away from the first day of school out here, Candy. Yeah. And, and uh, we are we are uh, getting ready. I just want you to know, as a side note, uh, the kids have started to get to bed a little earlier as we train them 
for the beginning of school. So That's good. Uh, we have we have that going on. I know you were you were concerned about that. So uh, that is in the works at the moment. I think Elijah went to bed. Uh, I, I, I fell asleep before him, but I think uh, he tucked me in. I think Elijah went to bed uh, at uh, 1030 last night. We're getting there, Candy. We'll get him down to nine o'clock. We'll get him down to nine o'clock real All right. soon. You it's better hurry up. All right. Listen, you have a great rest of your day. OK, you yes. You too. Yes. Absolutely. Love you. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.